How to use screen recorder for iPhone. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from How to Geek, and in this tutorial video, I'll simply show you the way how you can use the default screen recorder app for iPhone without any third party services. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and without any further ado or delay, let's get started with today's video. Now first of all, in order to record screen on iPhone, it's very simple. The very first thing we will do is we'll add a controls to our shortcuts. So just go ahead and then launch the settings app on your iPhone. Once you launch the settings app, you can see all the sorts of various options. Just go to the one that says control center over here. Once you go to control center, you can see two sections, which is the included controls and the more controls, which is not included. Over here on the included control, you want to make sure that screen recording is also selected. For example, if it's not selected, it is most likely at the bottom under the more controls section. You'll just look at the option called screen recording, tap on the plus icon and it will be moved to your control center over here. Now in order to begin recording our screen, we'll just exit out of it and let's say I come to my home page, just swipe down your fingers from the top right corner to the bottom in order to enable the control panel setting. Once you do that, you have to locate the option of screen recorder which usually looks like this, this round dot right over here. In your case, it could be somewhere in the middle depending upon the amount of controls you have on your center tab. Once you do so, I'll also show you what some of the options mean. For example, if I long press on it, you'll be able to see all these options. You can see this application somewhere which says photos, gmail and so on. Which means that if I select to photos, after I record it, the video is going to be saved to my photos. If I select gmail, after I'm done recording, it will ask me to prompt and send it to a gmail or mail it to somebody else. Similarly, it's the process the same for Instagram messenger and so on. But I would just recommend you leave it to photos so that you can go ahead and choose this later on. You also want to make sure that if you're trying to record with your audio, you have to make sure to turn on your microphone which is at the bottom. When you have microphone turned on, you can basically see it's going to be highlighted in red. And in order to begin recording, just tap on the start recording button over here. Now our recording has been set successfully. In order to find out whether or not it is recording, at the very really top left you can see this red indicator which means that our content or screen is actually currently recording. If you want to end it by the way, just tap on it once. And then you'll find the option called stop. But what if you want to pause this recording? Well, it's also very simple. If you want to pause it, then you just have to tap on this particular and you'll see this particular pop up over here. When your screen is on this particular message, which means that your screen recording is actually getting paused. Keep also in mind that while you have paused your iPhone screen recording, you will not be able to do any of the activities on your screen. As you could basically see, the background is actually locked. If I go ahead and tap on it as well, it's not going to respond anything. That is because our screen recording is currently as paused. In order to resume it, you have to tap on the cancel button to begin recording and then resume it. But in order to stop it, just tap on the stop button over here. So many people were confused as to how they can pause the recording. I simply showed you that as well. Now you can see our screen recording has been saved. I will just go ahead and then open up the photos application to view whether or not we have recorded. As you can see under the recent tab, our screen recording has been successfully recorded with audio if we have microphone tuned on. And this is how you can use a screen recorder for iPhone. We hope the video was really helpful. And if it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply also make sure to leave them down. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video.